Love, Jefferson County District Court Judge, is closing his chapter on the bench. Judge David Holton founded Kentucky's first Veterans Court five years ago. Today was his last day in that courtroom, and our Shea McAllister was there. All rise. For the man who's made a career out of standing up for others, this ritual is especially fitting. Judge David Holton's quirky demeanor creating a comfortable courtroom in Jefferson County for the better part of a decade. It's been my honor, my distinct honor, an honor of a lifetime to do what I've done. Undisputedly changing the lives of thousands. Perhaps his most rewarding moments have happened here in Kentucky's first ever Veterans Treatment Court. The judge founded Veterans Treatment Court in 2012 with the goal of providing mental health services to veterans while holding them accountable and then helping them get back to leading productive lives. I encourage them when they need encouragement. I praise them when they deserve to be praised. Uh, I lock them up when I believe they need to be locked up. As for the men and women whose destiny depends on his decisions. I want to someday hear how your story ends here as well. And I want it to be and he lived happily ever after, understand? Yes, sir. He is cherished. I'm proud of you, brother. I love you, all right? Come on up here. Giving these veterans the second chance they deserve, the one they've earned, seeing them as a person before a prisoner, while never actually seeing them at all. Justice is blind and in my courtroom it really is. Truly judging not on what he sees but what he hears and paving a new path in the Kentucky justice system as the state's first ever blind judge. Without my sight, my, my sense of hearing is perhaps more keen. Uh, you can hear things in people's voices. You can hear people smile, Shay, believe it or not, you can hear people smile. As he closes the chapter on his time on the bench, he does so graciously, promising a future as powerful as his past. And that's rather my motto that I, when I walk into court every day, to do as much good as you can, as often as you can, for as many people as you can, for as long as you can. And uh, now that I'm leaving the bench, still have that same mission to continue to try to make a difference in people's lives. Judge Holton is officially retiring at the end of the week. He says his next chapter holds private practice, advocacy, or maybe even elected office.